Hey, First Impressions volunteers. I'm honored to be here today with you for our virtual huddle. Um, if you, this maybe is your first time serving, usually this would happen in person in the foyer area of church. We would just gather together as a team, share some special announcements, maybe a word, and then we would pray over the service. So we're doing that virtually today. Um, so just a couple quick announcements. I'm sure you've seen, but just in case you haven't, the Life Group directory is live, which means it is open and available for you to browse and join groups that may interest you or your family. So if you haven't had a minute to check them out, jump on, take a look. Um, if you have any questions or maybe you're having trouble finding a group that might be a, a good fit for you, feel free to reach out to myself or Michelle Martinez and we'd be happy to chat with you further. Also, it's not too late to lead a life group. You better hurry up though. <laughs> it's not going to be open forever, but there still is some time. So if you are interested, let us know and we can walk you through that process and get your group published pretty quickly to the directory. But let's get into the word for today. Um, this past week, you know, I've been trying to decide what the best message is to share with you today. Um, and I actually didn't discover it until this morning in my own quiet time with God. Um, God spoke very clearly to me that he wanted me to remind you that you are the light and that you have purpose and you have meaning and your role matters in his big master plan. Whether you're a greeter, an usher, kids check-in, info center, prayer or parking or any other role that we have here at the church, it matters so much to people. We are put here on this earth to be the light and to love people as if we are a true extension of Jesus Christ. And that in itself is pretty big. Um, but let me go ahead and read Ephesians 5 verses 8 through 10 for you. It says, For we are once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. So we are to be living our life for the Lord, but we also want people to feel the Lord and his love and his goodness and his righteousness in and through us. So today, as you're welcoming people in the doors or, you know, having a conversation with people that you know, I'd like you to step out of your comfort zone today and try to connect with somebody new. Because we're combining services now only to Sundays, you may see many familiar faces, but you also may see a lot of people that you didn't know come to Creekwood. So it's an opportunity of connection for you, um, but you can also be an extension of God in that moment maybe that person just needs to be seen and by you saying hello or i'm so glad you're here that could have been an answered prayer so be bold step out in faith covid can't stop his purpose the devil can't stop his purpose nothing will let us be the light and show the love of jesus here especially here especially today let's go ahead and pray Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for you and your love and your mercy that you bestow upon us every day, Lord. It's so refreshing to know that day after day we may mess up, but we can always come back to you and feel unconditional love. Nothing changes your love for us, Lord. Help us today as we can resume in-person services, Lord. Help us be a full extension of you people that are coming in that need to feel your love, help us step in the gap and show them, help us to have them feel your love, a direct connection to you, Lord. I pray over all the, the volunteers that are going to be with us today, Lord. May they feel that they are truly valued, that their purpose matters, Lord. We couldn't do it without them. Make them feel especially, especially needed today, Lord. 
And we pray over Pastor Stephen as he brings another message in our series this week, Lord. May it fall on ears and hearts and souls that truly just need to feel Jesus. May it speak to them on a new level, Lord. Help us in our walk with you, Lord, that we may remain united and putting you first always. Thank you for all that you do, Lord. We love you so much. Amen. Well, thanks for joining with me today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow in person or online. Love you guys.